Hello, this is Jacob Green with the second of the Trouthorn Fly Company fly fishing and fly tying tutorials. Uh, we are a urine nymphing fly company. You can visit us at our Facebook page under our company name of Trouthorn, T R O U T H O R N, and fo please follow us on our YouTube channel here at Trouthorn. Uh, we do donate a portion of our profits to TU, so go ahead and support us, support TU. And please get involved in your local TU chapter. Today we are going to be tying a Czech Bobesh in somewhat of a traditional style. Uh, we're going to be using a Demon Competition size 10 barbless curved hook and a 4mm copper tungsten bead. For thread, we will be using 8 dot fluorescent orange uni thread. Start about the midpoint. Work our way down to halfway down the shank. Take the tag and clip it. Take about five inches of size small copper ultra wire and tie that in. Next, we're going to use Wopsy Thin Skin. This is uh, the color clear with black fleck. I'm going to cut a strip of that eh, about between an eighth of an inch and a quarter inch wide, just depending on how you like your flies to look. And taper the end we're going to tie in. Go ahead, tie that down nice and firmly. Now that we have that in place, we're actually going to use uh, a trout line dubbing. Uh, trout line, by the way, is a fly company and fly tying material company based out of Romania. They sell excellent materials. Uh, and so we're going to be using what's called their super nymph dubbing. It's a blend, actually, of both synthetic and natural dubbing. It's very spiky and uh, gives us the effect we're looking for here. So, I'm going to create a dubbing noodle. And what we're aiming for is kind of a carrot shape to our fly. We don't want it to be super thick because uh, Czech fishermen like their patterns to penetrate the water column quickly without much resistance. Uh, so this, this shape is going to aid us. In that way. Start wrapping. And that is just about perfect. Used a little too much dubbing there, but with practice you'll be able to gauge it. Now that we have our dubbed body, this is a light olive color, by the way, we're going to take Venier Genuine Seal Dubbing. This is a very coarse, fibrous material. Uh, dubbing wax is going to be extremely important in this uh, because there's not much holding this dubbing together. Uh, it's kind of a pain to work with, but once the fly is completed, it really gives you a very nice buggy looking fly. So I'm going to go ahead, wax up our thread, pull some of our dubbing out. We're going to create a noodle. Now this is going to take a lot of practice to work with. Uh, it can be frustrating. It's one of the harder dubbings to work with, but once you really get it worked onto that thread, it's going to give you a beautiful thorax. It's well worth the effort. Start wrapping. It's 
just about perfect. Next, what we're going to do is take our thin skin that we tied in, and pull that, stretch it right over the back of the fly, and uh, stretch it, and tie it in with some good tight wraps. Three should do it. Now that we have that in place, we can snip, stretch it, snip the tag. We're going to take our wire and counter rib this fly with relatively close wraps. This is going to give us a nice segmentation, slim down the profile just a bit. When you get to the seal, you can kind of wiggle it between the fibers. And tie it off. All we have to do now is whip finish the fly can be done with your fingers. In a later tutorial we'll show you how to do a one finger whip finish. Uh, but for now you can use two fingers, a whip finish tool, half hitches. Uh, you won't be able to use a half hitch tool on this fly because of the bead head. But with a half hitch, uh, with I'm sorry, with a whip finish, your fly should be nice and secure. You can add head cement or not. Now we're going to turn the fly and color the back of that thin skin just above the thorax. We're going to color it black just for a bit of contrast. And that is our completed Chuck Bobesh fly. An incredible fly for point patterns. You can fish it off of a dropper tag. Incredible pattern all around. Optionally, uh, and something I tend to do, is take a dubbing needle and pick, pick out some legs from that seal's fur. It'll be very easy to do. Some nice things picked out. Clip them off roughly in line at the hook point. And there is the completed Czech Bobesh fly. Thanks for watching. Please visit us at our Facebook page. Give us some support and give to you some support. Thanks. Bye-bye.